The water rescue and recovery teams are vital to the first responders they accompany, recovering at least four bodies in central Iowa since the year began. Those recovery teams found the bodies of two ISU crew members in a Hamilton County lake. And just this month, Des Moines Fire Department's water emergency team recovered a body in the Des Moines River. A week later, the same team recovered a body from a lagoon near the county soccer park. Local 5's Lake and McGee joined the Des Moines Fire Department today to understand how they train to save lives. Today is a very windy day and the Des Moines Fire Department is taking advantage of that because as you can see right here, they're doing their water rescue training and the weather isn't always going to cooperate, especially when they're doing these types of rescues. Every year, the Des Moines Fire Department is deployed at least 18 times for a water rescue. The most dangerous deployment is here at the C Street Pedestrian Bridge. Uh, I've had the opportunity to pull several people from the water. Ovi Myers is a senior fire medic and has rescued someone right here where they trained. And I think my favorite thing about uh, water rescue is that when they call you, somebody's already in trouble, so every second counts. To see what it takes, I had the opportunity to gear up and train with them. Our scenario, a victim in the water by the third arch under the pedestrian bridge. We had to lower and pull the ring buoy from the water in gusting winds. Oh yeah, it's heavy. Trying to pull that ring buoy up over against the current. It's kind of deceiving how fast and how strong that water actually is until you're actually in the situation. Farrell has been a firefighter for two years. He's never had to do a water rescue, but one of his biggest fears is not being successful at rescuing someone. No one ever wants to walk away from a situation like this and say it didn't work out. That's why they train and learning the communication for these types of rescues is key to survival. Now every Des Moines Fire Department employee has to do this type of water rescue training just in case they're the ones called out to have to do the rescue. Reporting from the C Street Pedestrian Bridge, I'm Lake and McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And no one thinks they'll be in a situation just like Lake and described, but the risk still exists. So Local 5's Holly Schlusselman describes what to do if you find yourself in need of a water rescue. The Des Moines dive team gave us three tips to keep in mind. First, always have a life jacket on if you are around water. Second, if you fall in, try standing up to see if you can touch the bottom. And three, if you can't touch the bottom, point your feet downstream. This way you can see and protect yourself from any hazards coming at you. Most importantly, try to stay calm. Holly Slusselman, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.